All right, so now that we sent out the invoice, now we want to make sure that we track when we get paid, all right? Because that's what bookkeeping and accounting is all about. It's simply about tracking every single expense, whether it be income or whether it be expense. I say every single expense. It's all about tracking every single transaction. I'm sorry. So track every transaction, whether you're spending money or making money. So the way that you would track it, because we could have sent the invoice through Wave, but we don't want to do that. We want to try to keep everything within the Clean Biz Network platform as much as possible, right? So we sent our invoice through Clean Biz Network CRM. Now what we're going to do is we're going to track when we get paid. So if a customer sends you a check in the mail, what you want to do is you want to come to click on accounting, and then you want to click on transactions. Now if you wanted to, you can connect your bank account and just track all of the transactions automatically but you would still have to come back and categorize them for wave so instead it's to me it's easier and less complicated just to go ahead and add it manually so what you could do is add income click the date that you received the check so let's just say you sent out the check yesterday and they sent you i mean they sent out the invoice you know last month and they sent you a check today so we're going to leave the date as today's date we'll put mcdonald's invoice payment and then put the number of the invoice or whatever number you had on your invoice and then you want to have it uh, as checking account so you only you don't want to put it as undeposited funds because it's a check so obviously you're going to deposit right so make sure that you and you don't ever want to just cash a check as a matter of fact if the check is made out to your company and not to you which way that's the way it should be then you should be able to cash it anyway it should have to be at least deposited in your company bank account first and then you can transfer it to your personal or write yourself a check from the bank from the uh, business checking account or even to withdraw cash from the business checking account but you first need to at least let the money deposit through your business checking account all right so you put uh, the account is through your checking account is a deposit and not a withdrawal the amount was five thousand dollars and the categorized income you can just put it in there so let's just say it was commercial cleaning and we can add a new category and this is income uh, we'll leave that blank and let them figure that out and we'll just say recurring commercial cleaning all right save that and now it's already there and then you can add the customer as well if you have this customer added into your C, uh, into your uh, your accounting software if you do go ahead and add them if not you can leave it alone because it's tracked up elsewhere and then you can add any notes if you want to add any notes click save and also you can click mark as review so it'll add it instantly versus you having to click that green check at the end so I'm going to click it mark as review because we know it's deposited and then we'll save that and now as you can see this was added new five thousand dollar deposit it's already green so it's reviewed and you can see that our amount that uh, we had deposited went up and if you want to you can also um, upload the receipts let's just say they sent you a check maybe you took a picture of it you can upload that as a receipt all right but that's all you got to do to track the invoices even though you're sending invoices through clean Biz network you can still track the payment through your wave accounting uh, software all right